Steve Dotto here. How are you this fine day? Me, I am super excited because I think I've got a great tip for Evernote users. And I'm going to be talking about a feature which you already probably know about in Evernote, but I want you to take another look at it because if you start exploring some of the capabilities of this particular Evernote feature, you might be just as excited as I. Stick around. Now, typically speaking, when we think about Evernote, we're thinking about all of the different pieces of data that we can store in Evernote. And goodness knows I've talked about that ad nauseum in all of my other Evernote videos. But one of the things we don't think about is how much we can use Evernote to actually do our own document creation. There's quite a few different formatting options within Evernote that allow us to take a plain old looking text document or something that we've clipped and dress it up by changing the font, by incorporating a graphic and bringing in a graphic and doing a little bit of very, very simple page layout. Now that in of itself might seem to be a useful feature, but where it becomes really valuable, I think, is when we start thinking about taking these documents that we maybe mark up or, or projects that we're working on and start to share them. I know that it's only recently that I've really begun thinking a lot about using Evernote as a communications tool. I've always thought about it as a gathering and an organizational tool for getting a bunch of information into my lap. Increasingly lately, I've been thinking about using it to share and collaborate with others because the sharing features are so robust and I can do so much within Evernote. So now I'm thinking about using Evernote in the ways that I might have before. I'm thinking about sharing information that I might have made a web page or a blog post with in the past that I would have sent people to. I'm now doing it in Evernote because it's got a lot of the same features. Let me, let me kind of take you through it. Here's just a, this is just any document. This is uh, um, my last newsletter that was sent out. Nothing fancy, but you can see here, if we take a look at all of the formatting tools, you can see that we can do all sorts of very simple and basic formatting options to this particular to this particular uh, bit of uh, text, this particular document. You know, you can change the font if you choose, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller. You can do all the sorts of normal things that you would do in a, in a simple word processor page layout program. Or, for example, that you might do in the text editor within a WordPress or a blog site. Now, what I can do then, once I've got the document ready to share, is I have the ability by going under this arrow icon here in the, the toolbar to be able to share this note or to be able to share the whole notebook. Now I'm not going to talk in this demo about sharing the notebook because that becomes a whole different tool as far as, uh, and creates different opportunities and different challenges because you're sharing all of the notes within a notebook. Instead I'm saying, let's just take this note and let's share the note itself. What happens when I create a share link for the note? Well, a process starts being invoked and that process is Evernote takes my note and it turns it into a shared note then creates a link to it. It also uploads it onto the Evernote server so that it can be then shared and it moves it into my account on the Evernote server so that it can be shared and creates all of the different permissions to make it public. And the net result is, if we have shared a note, is you can go to your web browser and you could paste the link in in your browser or you can create it, paste it as a link in an email or in a tweet or in a post, in a page post in Facebook, you can share the link. And when you share the link, the people who click on the link because you've made it public, see this. This is a thing of beauty. This is your note being rendered in HTML by Evernote for public consumption. So it's actually, it's, it's, it's like we've created a WordPress blog post, but it's not in WordPress. It's being hosted in Evernote. All of the links, all of the links that are embedded that we've created in here. So for example, I've got links in here to register for my course. If, if, if I click on this, well, I might as well click on, I'll click on, open it in a new tab. Uh, and you can see they all work just as though I was in a, in a blog post or in a WordPress site. There it is. So there's the, there's that link launching for us and there it is. Okay. So there's, so it's all of that interactivity is still there, but here's where it gets really cool. You can take this and you can view the note in Evernote. In other words, you're seeing it now in a web browser, but you're not in your Evernote account. So you can see this, whether you have Evernote or even if you don't have Evernote. If we click now to view this in Evernote, what it does is it will, first of all, ask us to log into Evernote, which is great. But if you don't have an Evernote account, it will prompt you 
to create an Evernote account. But because I have an Evernote account, it will now open this note in Evernote. Now it's going to be kind of silly because this note's already in my Evernote notebook. But it allows me to take that, this note if it, if I was a normal recipient, and now I can save the note into my own notebook. That is quite cool. But here's what is quite cooler. If I go back now and I edit this original note, the resulting note that's saved in everybody's notebook out there that I've sent it to, that note is saved for them as well. My mind goes off like fireworks when I start thinking about the things that we can do with this kind of control and this kind of automatic sharing going on in our lives. As a matter of fact, I'm developing a course right now where all of the course materials are going to be sent out just this way as links within a simple email. And then if I update the course materials or if I change everything, all of my students get automatically updated. And it's not sitting in some course management system and I don't have a web browser, I don't have a WordPress site that I have to set up and all that sort of stuff. Oh, no, no, no. It's happening right out of Evernote. This, my friends, is is a stroke of genius as far as Evernote when you start thinking about how you can apply this simple little option of sharing notes within Evernote. Can you tell I'm a wee bit excited about it? Yes, indeed, I am. Uh, that's it for this particular demo. Uh, I want to let you know that there's three ways that you can stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. First of all, be sure that you have subscribed to this channel. That way you get all of our different email, uh, all of our different videos as soon as they are published. The second thing to do is sign up for our newsletter. There it is. It's very simple. It's very clean. I send it out once a week, which is a digest of all of the different, uh, all of the different videos that we create on the channel, plus notifications of all the upcoming events like this Evernote course that I have coming up or the Evernote uh, in this particular case a webinar on growing a YouTube channel uh, but we will let you know about all of our upcoming webinars and thirdly if you are so inclined Dotto Tech is a community sponsored project our, our our YouTube channel is brought to you by you as opposed to corporate sponsors through the uh, crowdfunding site patreon if you have a few moments take a look at our patreon link for as little as a dollar a month you can ensure that a steady flow of excellent content comes out of the Dotto Tech studios the fancy Dotto Tech studios <laughs> that's it for today I'm Steve Dotto have fun storming a castle 